How are y'all doing? Well, I um, have had a really long day. Anybody else? And I don't know, I just wanted to gel print. It's been a while and it's something I love to do. Um, I love playing with paint. I love getting messy. I always have. So I've got a couple of texture things here. Um, I am preparing to work on a couple of journals and I like to add jelly print pages inside my journals. I also want to use some jelly print pages on cards, things like that. So I thought I'd have a little session. I have a lot of videos out this week, so sorry you guys. I know some of y'all say like I shouldn't apologize and you know, if I have a lot of videos out, but I know y'all got things to do. So I grabbed my favorite paper. Um, this is a really inexpensive one. It is produced for Daiso, um, but I get it on Amazon. And in the past, it's been really expen inexpensive. I don't know if anything is inexpensive anymore, but it used to be before the pandemic. Hey, Gloria, how are you? Welcome, welcome. So I grabbed my gel plates and I have all the sizes that I like to play with. Um, I'm going to play with my biggest plate tonight, which is a 9 by 12 It is, I can't say it's my favorite. It's my favorite for journals. I love my 5 by 7 for um, card making. I also love these for card making, these smaller ones. I also do six by six, and then this is an eight by 10. I like doing this one for like home decor pieces. That's what I use, eight by 10. I use them all. Of course, you guys haven't seen me use them in forever. So of course, I'm gonna just showed up at the front door. Y'all know how it is. Hey, Karen, welcome. Oh, it's your first live on my channel, cool. Well, I love being live because I like chatting. I'm a talker. And I like connecting. That's what my channel is all about. And I don't know if anybody's going to answer the front door. So there's that. Um, but tonight, you know, my lives are very random, Karen. I'm going to let you know that sometimes I come on at 5 o'clock in the morning. In fact, I'm usually an early riser with my lives. And I am trying to get to where I do them once a week. I just saw recently that you're not supposed to keep these on your gel plates, that they can stick. Some people have them stick. So, um, I don't know. I'm lucky I haven't had that problem. And I've been seeing that they're making like tins and things that you can store stuff in, which is cool. Um, I don't know. I need to figure out how I am supposed to store it. So this is the gel plate that I'm using today. Hi, Barbara Matthews. Your first time on my live too. Well, this is awesome. It feels so weird. Like, I don't know. That doesn't feel right. Let's flip it over. Great. That doesn't feel right either. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh, Kimmy girl. Everybody. Hi, welcome. I'm so glad y'all are here. I love to do lives, so I do them, I try to, I'm trying to do them once a week. Wow, this is a special bottle of paint, you guys. The lid never got pick, put back on, but it feels pretty squeezy still, which is pretty remarkable. Um, I don't know. We will see if this is going to come out. I think it's going to be pretty crazy. No, nope, that's not, okay. So I got lunar paste, I've got um, inexpensive apple barrel folk art, random things that I might only have one in my stash. I always have my watercolors at hand. So I am getting ready to make a couple of junk journals and I like to have, um, I really like to have gel prints for those. Uh, gel print pages to put inside. So that's what we're going to be working on. How is everyone doing? It's Wednesday. 
got to get over the hump. Oh my gosh, today alone felt like it was a week, and that's too much, but that's okay. We're going to make this work. Um, hey, Alyssa 5K. I'm glad you shared with me what the 5K was about this week. That was so sweet. Hi. Um, oh, I caught y'all. I caught Kimmy. I caught Barbara. But hi again. This is a lot of paint. This is a lot more than you need. I only needed a couple of drops, but that's okay. All right. I think someone finally answered the front door. So that's super cool. Um, ooh, I like these colors. Okay, so I kind of have, I have a couple of journals I'm working on, you guys. I'm working, I just completed, well, I completed it a little while ago, but I completed this beauty here, which you'll be seeing a walkthrough of that on my channel soon. I'm working on some Frida journals this week. Okay, I have a lot of new people here on my channel. I want to say hello and welcome. So glad you're here. Let me tell you a little bit about what you'll find on my channel. I'm a paper crafter. I love paper crafting and um, having a good time. Um, sorry, I gotta grab something. My channel is all about sharing my journey with y'all. It's about connecting with people and um, having a good time and having community. So um, I share a lot of cooking, but I also do journals and many hours of memory keeping, just a little bit of everything. Um, I love collaborating, so a lot of times you'll see that I'm working with other channels and connecting with them and collaborating with them. Um, I do mixed media, but I love playing with patterned paper. And I'm just all about sharing my journey, so that's, that's more about my channel. I have a few series on my channel, like... No Dies, No Problem. No Dies, No Problem is just about, um, ooh, that's pretty. Yes, I like it. Um, no Dies, No Problem is really kind of like all about just grabbing scissors and paper and maybe a template and creating cards without dies, but with cutouts. Um, I show you just things that I've come up with, and that's a series that I really enjoy doing on my channel. I should have waited for this to dry a little bit more, but that's okay. It's going in a junk journal. It doesn't have to be perfect. So no dies, no problem. Um, I have a newer series on my channel that's all about card donations, cards for a cause. Ooh, this is going to be fun tonight, y'all. Um... I just joined a new design team and I joined it with the purpose of adding more junk journal content onto my channel. Oh yeah, you can use Distress Ink Sprays for sure. Uh, it feels, Barbara, it feels like it has like some indentations and some texture to it that the rest of the gel plate doesn't have and it's like in spots. It's so weird. It's, I wonder if it's a... A medium that I put on there or something. Um, I just recently got Lunar Paste. I'm so excited. This was a treat. Um, and I'm very excited to bring this in to my craft room. So um, yes, I joined a design team for junk journals because I want more of that on my channel. And for me, I'm very much... Uh, like squirrel and I'll get distracted and I'll start doing other things and so I kind of need that discipline of having a design team. I'm also on the sheet load of cards design team so some of my newer subs and friends that are here um, you might have seen a video about that yesterday the sheet load of cards 
I love that design team because it's all about just sharing creativity and free card sketches and it's amazing and it's an awesome team. So, and then I'm on Not Too Shabby, which is my favorite place to shop for card making supplies. So that's more about me and my channel, just to, so y'all have a little introduction. Um, you know, it, I just try to have a good time and share that good time and connect with others. That's really the whole big purpose of me being on YouTube. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see what we can pull off of this. I am using, in case anybody wants to know, regular old copy paper, like 20 pound weight, the cheapest one you can find at the grocery store, copy paper tonight, along with that um, calligraphy paper that I pulled. That's really sweet. I'm wanting some muted pages like this. So I am gonna be working on some Frida journals, but I'm also gonna be working on a really cool sewing, like a seamstress journal coming up. So I want, um, some muted soft colors. Hey Don. Hi Melissa. How are y'all doing? I know, you know, Elizabeth's not on tonight. Hey Bugs. Mediocre Arts and Crafts. Hi. Um, so I thought, well, I can do a little mixed media. Let's see. This, I've never even used this. That's too much. That it seems to be the theme tonight is, whoops, that's too much. Ooh, look at these colors. Mm, these colors are singing to me tonight. <laughs> Making my heart happy. All right, I want to do something wild and throw a little um, alcohol ink on this real quick. I wish I would have grabbed, maybe I have the solution handy. Do I, do I? I don't know if I do. So what I was really wanting to do tonight, you guys, is kind of play with different paints and throw everything but the kitchen sink at this gel plate and see how the things react with one another. So let's throw some alloy on here real quick before this gets too dry. Oh, I should have mixed that more. Well, there's my alcohol that I was hoping I'd have. These alloys having some problems. Let's throw some green on here. You guys, my craft room's a mess, so sometimes when you're in my live, you'll hear things go crash, okay? But it's okay. I'll let you know if I'm if I'm in trouble. But most part, I'm just fine. It's just a messy craft room. Ooh, I think this is gonna be cool. So how many of y'all gel prints? Oh yes, my friends, that's fun. Very, very fun. So um, here was just the alcohol that from my poor alloy that wasn't mixed well. Um, Natasha, hi. And then um, this green is this green. Okay, so that was the alcohol ink responding and to the acrylic. We're going to have to do the back of that, aren't we? Let's do it. Let's pull some of that up. Let's see if I'm just going to pull in kind of a neutral. Yeah, you know, Barbara, I have them, obviously. I haven't done a gel printing session here on my channel in quite some time. I can't remember the last time, to be honest. But here's what I find with mine is that once I start, I kind of can't stop. <laughs> like it's just one of those processes that's so much, so joyful and so much fun that once I start getting all these random results, I really can't stop myself. 
So when I'm gel printing pages for a junk journal like I'm doing tonight with you guys, I want to do both sides. Yes, just like this. So when it goes in my journal, you know, there's plenty of beautiful gel printing there. Um, let's see, let's add some more lunar paste. I kind of want, let me see if I can, let's uh, throw some watercolor at this situation too. Okay, so let me get my watercolors out real quick. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna read y'all's comments. I'm devoted to staying in touch with the comments tonight, you guys. I struggle with that sometimes. I just get so wrapped up in being crafty and creating that I lose track of you guys. I'm gonna try to keep up with you tonight. So Cordelia, you slipped in, didn't you? And hi, Patricia. Um, so welcome. Patricia, I'm so glad you're here. You guys, Patricia is a part of the Tsunami Rose group. And I'm now on the Tsunami Rose design team. So Patricia, thanks for coming over. I'm just playing with a gel plate, getting ready. I wanna make a sewing journal and some other journals. So I'm just, I love putting gel prints in my journals. So that's what I'm working on tonight. Mm-hmm. This is gonna be really interesting. I'm not saying it's gonna be great. I'm saying it's gonna be really interesting what we get off of this plate. So let's uh, throw this stencil back down. I'm keeping it simple tonight, you guys. I could have pulled out stencils and all kinds of stuff, but I'm just pulled out one stencil and a limited color palette and I'm going with that for tonight. I'm also gonna try to keep this live under an hour. Mmm, interesting. Like I said, I didn't say it was gonna be great. It's just it's interesting. That's all a gel print needs to be. And then a junk journal, because we add so many things. I'm just gonna roll across here. Um, it's okay. Some gel prints we love right away and some grow in us and some of them we tear apart and use in different ways. That's interesting, huh? All right, someone said sprays. Why not? Let me grab a couple of sprays real quick. I think that's what this page needs. I'm just grabbing the first one. Okay, for all my newbies, um, this is something that you'll learn over time, but I keep 4.3 million things on my desk. I try to keep almost everything that I can at arm's reach. And so I have, I um, always have a mess, but I think that it helps my creativity because everything is out, everything I can grab, it's all close by. And I really do think that it helps me stay um, because I see things and I'm like, yeah, let's try that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do something different. I've never tried this before. I think this is what's so freeing about gel prints. I've never put down a stencil and then put my paint on top, but we're going to try that. And I'm going to add a little more. Angela Smith, hi. How are you? Oh, Jamie Watts, hey there. Oh, Melissa had to go. Paper beads, yes. And Don, I still need to see you do that video. One of these days, I'm gonna get caught up. When I was doing the card drive, I missed all the videos, you guys. I was maybe watching a video a day if I was lucky. And that was usually at night when I was falling asleep is about when I would catch a video. And I'd probably catch half of it because then I'd fall asleep. So I just feel like I'm just getting to a point where I have time to watch again. 
Oh, I like it. That's pretty cool. Let's take this one up now. I think it was Barbara that was like, can we spray on the gel plate? Yes, 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 we can. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, these are gonna be so pretty in a journal. I think the sewing journal, I haven't gotten the printables yet, so I haven't like really absorbed it yet, but I think it has a lot of pink. Oh, okay. I don't know. It probably been better without the sprays, but I, I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. I do like that a whole lot. So, turns out that putting your inks on this side of the stencil is pretty cool after all. I don't know until you try. What kind of paper am I using? I'm just using 20 uh, pound cheap. Buy it at the grocery store, buy it at Target. Nothing special, copy paper. It is my favorite. But then I also have behind me, and I haven't pulled it out yet. Let's get it out. I have this inexpensive Daiso paper that I get on Amazon. It came in three packs, so I got 300 sheets for less than $10. This was pre-inflation pandemic prices. I haven't searched for it since, so I have no idea what it is today, but this is like the real thin rice paper. It pulls beautifully, really, really well. Okay, so not everybody, in fact, not that many of my friends here make a lot of junk journals. Okay, so let's talk about ways that we can make jelly prints and cards and other things too. You could easily cut these up and turn them into beautiful cards. I have a video coming out on Friday. Is Friday the 5th? I think it is. I can't even tell you. Today's the 3rd. Thank you, iPad. Yeah. So Friday on the 5th, I have a video coming out with Franken paper. This would be a great way. And they're gonna be cards. It's Franken paper cards. But look, oh, the rice paper pulls so beautifully. Really love it. The thing is, is it's really light, so you kind of have to use it like you would like a napkin or something like that. Okay, who's watching the clock? I'm not. I really need to set timers <laughs> before I start a video. Okay, let's pull this up. Um, so, oh, another series for all my newbies here um, is that I have an note, um, old plus new series that I'm just doing this year with like 10 friends. And we do old plus new 2022. That is so pretty, you guys. I'm just marveling at how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, we need to print the other side though. And with old plus new, I have prompts. Let's some use some of this speedball block printing ink. From what I remember, it's kind of thick and weird. Um, but that's okay because I was wanting different textures, so I'm okay with that. Um, and so I have prompts each month that I release. We have a whole team. All we do is we post on the five, so you might and it's not like real set. It's a very loose thing because I'm doing it and I like things to be free. And um, so we just use the prompts and use our stash. We can use a old product and a new technique or a new product and an old technique. Everything can be old. Everything can be new. There's absolutely no judgment and no stress about it. It's just about inspiring people to use their stash. Let's use our my stash and do some more alcohol ink here. Okay, and I'm not gonna be shy about it. 
Let's put this on some rice paper. I'm just going to do the whole thing like this. Ooh, I think we're going to have fun with this one. Ah, uh, yeah. So old plus new is on Friday. I'm not going to bother to do the backs of those pages, you guys, because they're so thin. I really have to put them, um, I have to use them differently than I would use the copy paper. So there's no point in me doing the back of those. But I need to do the back of this other one. Okay. I know. Isn't it fun, Angela? And I've got lunar paste on here. Lunar paste is pretty magical stuff, you guys. I have to say. No buyer's remorse with that one. I've been wanting to go live all day. I wanted to start my morning live with you guys because that's how I usually like to do it. But I needed to go to work because I only slept like three hours last night. And I thought, uh-oh, I might have to rest in the middle of my work day during my lunch break. But that ended up not happening. So I'm going to hopefully sleep real good tonight. Okay, we're going to pull off of this twice. So... I'm going back to this pretty sheet. Do y'all remember this one? Oh. And we're going to pull the first one off of there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like it a lot. Now I'm going to lift. And I'm going to pull. We'll do one more rice sheet. I don't do a ton of rice sheets because... I don't have a ton of way to use them, basically, to be honest, but I do like them and I love how well you can print on them. Okay, nice, very subtle. I like that, that's gonna be good. That's going to be good. So, cause all, you know, y'all are wonderful and I'm just gonna, share everything because that's how I am. Um, the prompts for old plus new this month, the month of August, our birthday bonanza is one. What is the other one? I thought I could remember and tell you. Well, that's your sneak is that one of them is birthday bonanza. I cannot remember what the other one is and I made them up. That's okay. Let's do some pink and then let's throw some more alcohol ink on this. I don't know how my stencil is going to feel about this situation, but we'll find out. I won the stencil. I couldn't believe it. It's from um, the Crafters Workshop and I won it hanging out with Aaron Reed. And let me catch up. I told y'all I was going to do good with comments tonight and I've gotten busy with this gel printing so I gotta catch up to y'all hold on I see Angela's talking to me let me get this up though okay oh thanks Patricia Well, Kay, I use really cheap acrylic paints. So next time you're at Walmart or Hobby Lobby or anywhere, I don't know, I'm not like, okay, look, it's fine, but I don't know if I really like the way those worked there, but that's okay. Let's add some more color to this before we pull it. But yeah, I just typically, I love these. The apple barrel and the folk art are fabulous. And it, they used to be, because you guys, I've been trying to use my stash. I try not to shop that much anymore. You, I know, I'm showing y'all new stuff all the time, but I really try not to. Anyways, they used to be 50 cents a bottle. I don't know. 
every time I go to the grocery store, I feel like everything's gone up $2. So I have no idea what they cost now, but they are the inexpensive paints that you get in the box stores. And they are beautiful for gel printing. Let's pull this just as it is. Oh, yes, Angela. By the way, you guys, Angela, that card, um, that when I was showing y'all all the cards I got, that's nice. I think we should stencil over it with like, you know, it needs more. But actually, in a junk journal as a page, and you have something printed over here, it's not bad. Not bad. Um... And I couldn't figure out how Angela made her card. There was something on her card and I was like, I have no idea what this is. I'm completely stumped. She explained it to me. It, she laminates, well, Angela, you can tell them, you laminate napkins, tissue paper, and napkins. Yes. That was so cool. I could not guess what that was. I just knew I'd never seen it before. Angela also does the origami, which is really cool. Um, okay. Hey, we need yellow, my favorite color. <laughs> Hello. Don't leave it out. Let's see. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I like it. Don't want to mix it too much. I kind of just want like swaths of color here. I think, yes, I have another sheet that the back needs to be done. You know what I like about gel printing, you guys, is you just not get in your head about it, and then you make things like that. Like, just play, 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 play. And probably if you keep your supplies pretty minimum and you don't do yourself in with bringing out every bottle of paint you've had since 1967, it will be a, a more enjoyable process because you won't be overwhelmed trying to pick a color and which stencil out of the 400 stencils are you going to use or whatever. Just pick a few colors, pick a stencil like I did tonight and have some fun oh my gosh we need more of this combination <laughs> i'm gonna need some more of that in my life okay ooh let's add some alcohol ease okay i think it's the yellow that made me super happy the yellow you guys know I got my car painted and it's basically this color. It cracks me up. It's not what I thought it was going to be, but it's growing on me. And it just made me laugh because like a day or two after I picked it up from the body shop, I was like, oh my gosh, it's like the color of my logo. And y'all know how it is when you get like a new car and you start seeing it everywhere. Well, me having my car painted, even though it's the same car, I see the color everywhere now, and I'm like, oh my gosh, my daughter's iPad case is the same color as my car. Oh, this is the same color as my car. <laughs> it's just entertaining. Okay, I didn't really like, I wasn't wild about the alcohol inks through the stencils, so I'm not going to bother going there on this round, but I might do it when I pull up the stencil. So it really doesn't bother me that I'm using only one stencil. Oh my gosh. And that I will put like all these prints in the same journal because I kind of like the idea of the unity of it all. You know what I mean? So I just sounded like, that just sounded like earnest. <laughs> know what I mean? All right. So let's see. Oh, let's just throw some alcohol in this. Metallic would be beautiful. The problem is, is my metallic's kind of 
thick. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's do this. Tattered Angels. I don't know if they're still a thing. I've had this tw since 2017. Okay, we'll see how alcohol ink mixes with Tattered Angels. Let's find out. Okay, you guys, I'm going to pull this on a thick cardstock because I want to use this for card making. And then I promise I'll share it at some point on my channel. I'll make something with it, I promise. So now we're going to switch over. I think I have enough pages. I'm going to try to sell some some stuff in my Etsy shop. Holy guacamole. Let's just enjoy this for a minute, shall we? Um, I have a business credit card that I use for Bitty Penny, but I'm not really a business, you guys. I'm a hobby. <laughs> so I want to pay some of it down, and I thought I'd sell some stuff in my shop. And I want to go shopping on my birthday. Isn't that fun? I'm glad we're going to make some cards out of that. Let's make some more. Um, the day before my birthday, in a couple of weeks, I am going to my first ever scrapbook convention. I'm so excited about it for so many reasons. Number one is the people. Natasha, if you're still here, I think she's going. Hey there, Carla. Um, Carla, did you see this? <laughs> This is what we're doing. We're playing and making stuff like this. This is gonna go on a card. Um, so I'm going to my first ever scrapbook convention the day before my birthday, I'm just on August 13th. And um, I'm going with my friend Letty. If Natasha's still here, yep, okay, she's going. I get to meet her for the first time. Um, and I'm actually, I actually had a Bitty Penny shirt made, so I hope to find other people there. I mean, it's not like, I mean, my channel's small, like, let's be real, but I still hope to find, and that way Natasha can find me. Um, but I'm just really excited about the people. I'm excited because I've never been to a scrapbook convention, so I wanna sell some things in my Etsy shop. I haven't sold, I haven't done much in there in ages. And so I'm going to put some junk journals in there. I'm going to put some of the stuff that I normally sell at craft fairs in there. And pay a little. My plan is 50-50. Whatever I make over the next week or so, I'm going to pay half of what I make on my credit card. That's uh, metallic goodness right there. And then the other half, I get to spend at the scrapbook fair. That's my plan. I'm going to be a responsible adult, y'all. Kind of. I should put it all on the credit card, but I'm counting it as being responsible. Let's see what happens here. Yes. I like it. It's a little... No, it's pretty. It's not as bold. I think I like these brighter better but there's always a place for this is there not so I'm okay I'm okay with it let's get some more paint on there let's go bright since that's what I'm looking for uh Kimmy I kind of do um have digitals in my Etsy shop they're from my um no dies no problem I don't have any, like the ones I gave away at um, the Card Makers Success Summit was kind of a first for me. I don't have any more like that. But I will tell you, I have a free printable on my website under the Uvalde card drive. It's just the basic sentiments that are ideal for card making. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. You need some yellow right there in the middle, bitty penny. Um, but, hey... I love sharing things with y'all here when you're hanging out with me in a live. I'm about to reach 6,000 subscribers and I love doing giveaways and I love sending y'all stuff because I have too much stuff in the first place and I love blessing others and I do that and I do it with great joy and I'm going to do that. However, I'm going to try because I try to do more than, I, you know, I'm always trying to do things, but I, 
by the time I reach 6,000 subscribers, which actually could happen soon, I think, um, I am going to release a free printable for everyone because I always want to give something to everybody, but obviously that's not possible. That's pretty. I like it. Um, so, but if I give away a free digital, that is possible. Anybody who wants it can download it. So that's my plan for my 6K giveaway is to make a digital. All right, you guys, I don't know how long we've been on here. <laughs> so, but yeah, I would love to get good at it and make digitals and just have that passive income and have that outlet of creativity. I'm just not there yet. So until I get there, it's going to be a lot of free stuff for you guys. And I love the idea of giving y'all free digitals. We all got to save a buck. Look, and when y'all use my, I always preach this on my channel, um, that when y'all use my affiliate links, I only have two. <laughs> I have not too shabby and I have um, scrappy tails. Those are the only two affiliate links I have. Um, but when y'all use those, I get to go shopping and it's always fun. And I can't wait to show y'all what I got with my not too shabby affiliate commissions because it was really exciting for me. Anyways, so that's the only way that I really um, and it's not charging because it doesn't cost y'all anything to use those links, but is cash in? Cash in is probably not an appropriate term, but that's the only really monetary thing that I have except for uh, ads, the Google AdSense. Again, this is my hobby more than anything, and it's just my joy to connect with you guys. We were not crazy about this, I don't think. I don't even remember seeing it. That's how not crazy about it I was. So if you see this and you're thinking, mm, I wonder what this would be like for gel printing. Maybe you can get better results than I can, but I haven't been excited about it yet. I've tried it a few times. 41 minutes, Gloria. I love you. Thank you. Somebody's got to keep me on track. I got a family to feed. I got a kitchen to clean. I've got domestic duties. That's why I steal away my mornings usually to be with you guys in a live. But then when school starts, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna take my kids to school. <laughs> I just don't know if I'll have my lives. All right in the morning. I'll still find a time. I might have to just move them to Saturdays. Saturday's my crafty day. Typically I get that, get about half a day a week and that's okay. I'm still blessed. Mm, I like it. Okay. I'm trying to find the speed ball. I see a little bit here. You know what all of this would be fun is to take like, run it through an embossing folder or put like a gesso and like paste on top of it, like drywall spackle, whatever. Like build some texture on top of it would be really pretty. Okay, you guys, I'm back to journal pages because I have plenty of gel prints now for my cards. Oh yeah, I like it. And I'll wrap it up here in the next 10 minutes. Bye, Patricia. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so honored. Thank you. Have a good night. Mmm. I love zoodles. I love zucchini noodles. I was talking to a friend last night and she was talking about how she's pre-diabetic now and she can't have like regular pasta. And I was like, tell me you've tried spiralized zucchini or um, I love putting spaghetti 
um, sauce on steamed vegetables. I like that even more than noodles now. Um, and so she's, she messaged me later and was like, I put them in my shopping cart. So I hope she gets to have spaghetti again. I don't know what I'd do without some spaghetti in my life. I've already told y'all this. It took me three months to lose 15 pounds and I put it all back on in a month. Where is the math in all of that? That is not fair. I do not like it. Do not approve. I didn't sign up for that. <sighs> Starting back <laughs> at the beginning. That's what I wanted. You know, it doesn't have all that stenciled effect, but it has some of it. But I actually wanted this because I think I want to do some embossing folders and stuff. So I was going for that. Let's go for another one. I lost my zucchini plants. Ugh. They were producing so well. We were loving it. And then the squash boring beetles. Arg. They came and infested my plants like it was nobody's business. And I lost my plants. The drought hasn't helped. We are in, I live in central Texas, you guys. Uh, for those who didn't know, I'm a Texas gal, born and raised. Um, and anyways, we are in such a drought that you can only water once a week by hand. And I, my gorgeous vegetable garden is like just suffering. It's like, hey, lady, you realize it's 110 out here, right? Throw me some water. It hasn't rained in months, and I can't. So everything is kind of going by the wayside. But I keep telling and reminding my husband that this is why farmers pray. This is why we pray. We pray that our crops will make it. <laughs> that we'll have a crop. Just takes us back to our faith, right? And I've seen the card sentiment before. Like, you know, to plant a garden is to have hope. We were hopeful, we had some, but now, sadly, we have very little. I have a lot of cherry tomatoes still, but I don't know how long that will last. I'm about to get messy, because I just pulled this print, so it's, it's very wet. If you get this piece of paper, it probably has my thumb, my fingerprints in it. I like it. All right. I think we're just about there. I know I really want rain barrels, but I don't know where I would put them. Right, Barbara? That's kind of like when you lose 15 pounds and it takes two months, but then only one month to put it on. Gardens suffer, but the weeds survive and thrive. What's up with that? Some things are just so unfair. And I don't like that. I like uh, a happy ending and I like all the good things. <laughs> the happy things. Okay, we'll do, because I just smeared some more lunar paste on my, we'll do a little bit more, but then I, I'll let y'all go. I promise. We didn't, uh, what else can we throw at this? Oh, let's, um... I know what I want to put on here. I mean, let's try some perfect pearls. I've got this dark color. We'll throw some perfect pearls on here. Uh, we'll do it a couple of different ways. Okay, let's put some on like that. Dry before spreading our paint. And then we'll try some in a minute wet. Oh, I got to show y'all everything I made, don't I? I mean, I think you want to see it. I kind of want to see it. <laughs> okay, what do we not have? Let's just do some more um, junk journal pages. I will be happy that I did later. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Pretty. Kind of nothing new, right? Like, I've been doing this for the last hour, but it's still pretty. Let's just, sorry about that. Uh, spray some water. Let's sprinkle some perfect pearls. Oh, do y'all want to see the perfect pearls? Yeah, it didn't really do much. But now, let's just sprinkle a little, shall we, in the water. This is the last pool, okay? Wish me luck. I will let you guys know when I'm ready to post stuff in my Etsy shop. I'll show you. I used to de-stash in there a lot and I'll always show you a video of what's going in and let you know when it's in my shop. Okay, so, but no pressure. I am just not that kind of gal. I'm just glad you're here. Is there glitter in the lunar paste? The lunar paste is metallic. This one is. It's smooth. Let's see if I can catch the light. Uh, it's just a smooth, creamy metallic. It's, it's just, it's pearlescent almost. It's just beautiful. I really do love it. Hey, let's put some alcohol on ink. All right, this is our kitchen sink print here. Um, and I'm not going light-handed either. Guess what? This is going to be a card page. Let's see what we can get. I will put one more layer of paint on my plate just to see if I can clean it. Nah, it's okay. It's not, it's not that awesome. Here, let's just work on it. Oh, Betty Penny, this is what happens. And then suddenly you have an hour and a half live. I know, I know, I hear you. All right. Let's bring in a spray. Ooh, that's bold want to cover it that much let's I don't know put some blue on there I like in the blue let's add some blue and some yellow just a tiny bit because I'm putting this directly on paper not on the gel plate what will happen I don't know maybe you know but I, I don't know all in the name of experimenting and having fun. Okay, that's it. This page is what this page is. Let's see. Eh, still not like amazing. Let's do one more thing. Line this back up. I kind of want like a really dark spray. Let's see, I don't even have my own one. Uh, oh, this one's fun. It has mica in it. I kind of don't like mica. I'm going to be honest. This is a Tim Holtz um, mica stain. I think if I had bought one of these, I would not have bought more. But, of course, I bought them in a bundle. Um, I don't like glitter and things that come off. I don't like mica that comes off. I don't like glitter that comes off. When I make something I don't want it to show up on my hand later and this stuff regardless of what Tim will tell you um and I love Tim but and I love all of his products but I'm just saying when they were first being debuted it was like yeah they don't really come off but they do and I know that that's just the nature of the beast that's what mica mica is just a pigment powder like that so I mean no harm no foul but I should probably de-stash them. Keep an eye out. I'll let you know. I'll show you what's going in de-stash, but I might de-stash my mica sprays. Let's see if that, I just want more contrast. That's better. What happens when we add alcohol? Ink? 
Oh, it's spreading pretty well, honestly, because of all that paint we have on there. I think I'm gonna like this too. Let's hit it with some more mica. Maybe I can find a way to kind of seal this too. I don't know. All right, this is what this is. Oh, nope, still don't love it. That's okay. It's all right. You don't know until you try. Oh, I left that on my plate too long. Oh, got it off. Eh, I don't know. Y'all can all judge for yourselves. I won't tell you what to think, but I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, still don't love it. Okay, put it away. Be done with it. It's all right. I kind of like it from the side, funny enough. All right. That's it. Let me show you what I made. Hanging out with you guys. Hey, TR. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing good. Okay, we made junk journal pages. Let's go through those first. A lot of this looks the same, so bear with me. But each one is unique and different. We made calligraphy rice paper pages. I'll show you that next. And then we'll go through our card pattern paper for cards. Wow, our first pulls were kind of boring compared to where we went. But that's just the way it is. You gotta get warmed up. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay, an odd number. We have 11 sheets. Pretty, I like it. This is the other side. Okay. Yeah. This was the beginning, can you tell? This too, but this page, mm -hmm, that was the alcohol ink and the alcohol. Oh, next time I have a jelly printing session, I'm gonna just bring out some alcohol. That's pretty, I really like that one. It's funny, you guys, some of these that aren't appealing to me tonight, probably when I go to put them in a junk journal, they'll be my favorites. You know how, I don't know if y'all are like me, but from day to day, my ta change taste, it just depends on my mood. This was early on and I actually really like it. It would be great for writing on. So these are all journal pages. I think this is my, one of my favorites. I just love the rainbow and it's bright. That's the other side. Some of this is definitely metallic. why my phone is saying low battery like it's not plugged in but it is hopefully it's charging now well hopefully we won't get cut off yep I'm here <laughs> I was frozen because of my phone okay don't worry I didn't go anywhere here's this beautiful I'm gonna have to go quickly because I don't know if my phone's gonna die I didn't do this side that's okay we'll get there Again, we're still on the junk journal pages. Yeah, I thought, I mean, my phone's plugged in, but for some reason it's acting like it's not. <laughs> so a few of these I didn't get the back of. That's all right, we'll get it later. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm just going quickly in case my phone dies. Okay, next. Rice paper pages. What I'm gonna do with them, I don't know. Something. Something, something. This one. Ugh, this one's just kind of like, this be good like Halloween page. This be good for like, it's just kind of grungy Halloween-y, but I do like the green. Okay, let's look at our card making pages. Cause I actually really like these a lot. 
Look at that. Yes. Let's make cards from that, shall we? Love it. This would be a pretty, even like a junk journal cover. Oh my gosh. Maybe. We'll see. Some of them go to cards and some will go to junk journal covers because that would be beautiful. And it's really thick, sturdy paper. This is 110 pound thick paper. That's pretty. Thank you for hanging out with me, you guys. Oh, I love that one, right? Oh, I just love all the vein kind of look to it. Oh, that one's really pretty. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me. I'm so glad you're here. Love you guys. Keep on crafting. I have a lot of videos this week. Sorry, not sorry. I don't know what to say. Um, this was the hot mess of our last, our last pool. So I happen to have this gesso. Funny, funny that I should have that right here. I lost my stencil. You guys, that's how much of a mess I am. I had it, right? There it is. Found it. I don't know. I just really don't like this page that much. I promise I'm going to let you go. My husband came home. I've got to cook dinner. What's for dinner? I don't know. But I have a whole bunch of gel prints. Where is my silicone brush? There it is. There's one. Okay. I'm not going to cover the whole thing. Ooh, and I might even just let some peek through. You guys, this is my favorite kind of brush for any kind of glue, gesso, um, anything you don't want on a fibrous brush. These silicone makeup brushes are amazing. Okay. Maybe now I will like this page a little more. No guarantees. Thanks for hanging out with me. Happy Wednesday. Happy we'll get to Friday eventually. Yep, still don't love it. That's okay. I'm going to keep throwing stuff at it, you guys. Eventually, I'm probably going to like it. We'll leave it at that, right? Thank you for hanging out with me. Whether you're here live or you're catching it on the replay, I hope you're doing well. Sending you lots of good vibes. Um, have fun to our friends who are getting together at Stamp Away, I think is where they're going. Elizabeth, Sherry, Pam, y'all have the best time. Y'all better share your pictures on the Facebook page. I want to see, I want to be a fly on the wall. For everyone else, I've got Old Plus New this week. I've got... Um, a hop tomorrow, no, not a hop, a collab tomorrow with Letty. Y'all are going to want to come back for that, and you're going to want to go see what Letty made. And yeah, that's, I think that's it for this week. I got to like stop putting videos out this week. <laughs> That'll be enough, right? Okay, I'm starting to like this page now a little bit better with the alcohol splattered on there. I'm just going to keep throwing stuff at it. I'm not even joking. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.